بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم both of you how are your Aslam and Jahada families and Alama families going الحمد لله yeah okay let's hear all three I want to hear all three from both of you Aslam يسلم إسلاما فهو مسلم أسلم أسلم no أسلم يسلم إسلاما فهو مسلم الأمر منه الأمر منه أسلم ون سأ أسلم أسلم والأمر منه أسلم والناهي أنه لا تسلم وذرف منه وذرف منه there's no law right it's just أسلم سأ you got rusty on your أسلم no وذرف منه uh, Muslim. 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 Yeah. Start over with us, Nama. Awesome. Actually, no. You think about what you just did, young man. You start. <laughs> um, Aslama. Okay. Aslama, you slay mu Islaman, Fahua Muslimon. Aslima. Uslima. Usli oh, I said as. Uslima, you No, wait. Now you start. <laughs> Aslama, you slay mu Islaman, Fahua Muslimon. Uslima, you slay mu Islaman, Fahua Muslimon. Nope. You start. Whoever gets it gets the point. Uh huh. Uh, okay. No. So now it's a. Uh, Aslama Yuslimu Islam and Fahu Muslimun Uslamu is Okay, Mariam. Oh yeah. Aslama Yuslimu Islam and Fahu Muslimun. Usla Uslima Yuslamu Isla Islam and Fahu Muslamun. When Nahu and Hula no one will Amuru men who Aslam when Nahu and Hula Tuslam was there for men who. Muslimun. Ahmed. Uh, Aslam. No. Uh, well, yeah, you gotta do that one too. Okay. Aslam. Aslam, Muslimu Islaman, fahu a Muslimun. Uslima, Muslimu Islaman, fahu a Muslimun. Al Amru minhu Uslim. Wan. Al Amru minhu. Aslam. Aha. Wal Amru minhu Aslam. Wan Nahu la Tuslim. Okay. Wan Nahu anhu la Tuslim. That's fine. Wa Darfu minhu Muslimun. Okay. Alama, we'll start with you this time, Maryam. Alama, you alimu ta'aliman fahuwa mu'allimun. Yes. Alima, you alimu... Oh, no. Alama, you alimu ta'aliman fahuwa mu'allimun. Ullima, you alamu ta'aliman fahuwa mu'allamun. Al-amru minhu ullim. Oh. Ooh, you love putting u on the commands. I don't know why. Amru minhu aslim. You said uslim. Al amru minhu ullim. It's supposed to be allim. You said ullim. It's supposed to be aslim. You said uslim. You have a al amru minhu problem. Yeah. So al amru minhu is going to start with a fatha here. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Allama yuallimu ta'liman fahuwa mu'alliman. Ullima yuallimu. No. Oh, that's that's the Jahad family. Yeah. The Jahad family. Go ahead. Okay. Allama yuallimu ta'liman fa huwa mu'allimun. Ullima yuallamu ta'liman fa huwa mu'allamun. Al-amru minhu allim wa nahyu anhu la tu'allim wa dharfu minhu allamun. Mu'allamun. Okay, I'll let that one go. I'll let that one go because I didn't correct it. Mu'allamun. Okay. Mariam, make it up. Not one of five. Allama you allimu ta'aliman fahuwa mu'allimun. Ullima you allamu ta'aliman fahuwa mu'allamun. Wal-nahyu. Al-mamru. Al-mamru? Al-amru. 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 Al-amru minhu allim. Wal-nahyu anhu la tu'allim. Yes. Wal-dharfu minhu. Mu'allamun. Oh, yes. Okay, Jahada. Jahada yujahidu jihadan wa mujahadatan fahuwa mujahidun. Allah. Go on. And then, um, uh, 
juhida yujahadu jihadan wa mujahadatan uh, and then fa huwa mujahadun wal amru minhu uh, uh, jahad juhad jihad <laughs> Aquí me sigo poniendo. Por el hombre humano, ya had. Ya. Had. Hid. Ya. No. Ya. Ya. Hid. Oh, ya. El hombre humano, as. Lim. El hombre humano, al. Lim. El hombre humano, ya. Hid. You see the same thing. Yeah. Anyway. What was the first verse? Go ahead. Okay. Ya had a you, ya hid, ya had a no. Oh, no. Your turn again. Jahada you jahidu. Jahada. Think of Fox News. <laughs> I don't watch Fox News. Oh, God. Well, good for you. Jahada you jahidu. You jah. Okay, okay. You jah. Okay. <laughs> uh, jahada you jahidu jihadan wa mujahadatan fa huwa jihad. Uh, uh, um. Uh, mujahidun yes uh, then juhida uh, yujahadu jihadan wa ma jahadatan mujahadat wa, wa that's a mujahadatan. tongue slip of the tongue I'll let that one go wa mujahadatan wa mujahadatan fa huwa mujahadun good 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 and who jahid yes wa nahyu wa nahyu la tujahid wa nahyu anhu la tujahid good wa dharfu minhu wa dharfu minhu Mujahadun. Allahu Akbar. Go ahead. Yeah. Tie the score. Can you write me the first word again? Sure. Uh, it's um, <laughs> apple pie. Ja, is it? Jahada. Okay. Jahada you jahidu. Yeah, yeah, jahada. Jahadatan. Jihadan. Here, jihad. Where did you hear from? I don't know. But the, the, uh, she practiced a lot too. I know. I know. I even wrote it down. Okay, so you're just getting nervous. So stop being nervous. Maybe maybe because I'm looking at you. So I'll just look this way. Y'all don't mistake. You don't look either. Okay. She just said. Jihadan. Oh, okay. Jihadan. You jihadu. Jah. You jah. Wait. You don't like the word jihad. You just don't oh, like the word jihad. Jihad then. Jihad then. Jihad then. Wa mujahadatan. Oh, jihad then. Wa mujahadatan. Jihad then. You jihadu. Jihad then. Wa mujahadatan. Fahua. Fahua. You jah. Fahua mujahid. After fahua, it's always a mu word. Fahua mujahidan. Mujahidon. Mujahidon. Okay, start over. You're almost there. You jahidu. No, jahidu. Jahidu. You jah. Jahada. Jahada. You jahidu. Jihadan. Jihad. Wa mujahadatan. Fahua mujahidon. You're going to come back to me with this one. I'm not putting the score on the final. But I need perfection from both of you. Okay. You're still kind of like, eh, figuring it out? No. Perfect. Okay. Today, I start with new work. Okay. Today, I don't start with review. Okay. Today, I start with... New work. Is there a new family? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Two new families. Oh, okay. Two new families at the same time. Ta'allama. Say it. Ta'allama. First of all, this is kind of like Ta'allama family, except it doesn't start with Allama. It starts with Ta'allama. Ta so even the past tense has an extra Ta in the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's part of the part of the shape. So you know how you have the Fa'ain and Lam? Mm -hmm. Well, the Fa'ain and Lam will go after the Ta. So it could be Ta'allama. If I said this, it would be Tanazzala. Yeah. If I said uh, this, it would be Takarrama. Yeah. If I said this, it would be taqarraba. Mm -hmm. Notice the second letter after the, the fa letter, the, the ayn letter is going to have a shadda on it. Yeah. I like to call this a fatha family because there's a lot of fatha, 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 fatha in it. Okay. Yeah. So, ta'allama ya ta'allamu. Ta'allama ya ta'allamu. Of course, the last letter is off limits, so we don't change the sound on that. Yeah. That's a normal present tense ending. But notice everything else was fatha, 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 right? Mm -hmm. 
So you don't have to worry about which harakah it's going to be in the past tense and the present tense. Ta'allama yata'allamu, tanazzala yata'nazzalu, taqarraba yata'qarrabu. Okay? Tafarraqa yata'farraqu. Okay? Yeah. Uh, so, ta'allama yata'allamu. Then the masdar, of course the masdar is the idea, right? Yeah. So before the masdar was islam, and it started with an e, right? Mm -hmm. Then there was ta'liman, yes. which started with the ta and had a ya in it too. Ta'liman, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Then we had jihadan wa mujahadatan. This is our, the, the fourth family has its own masdar. It's called ta'alluman. Ta'alluman. So this time, the middle letter, the shadda letter, gets its first dhamma. Okay. Okay? Dhamma. So everything else is still fatha fatha, right? So ta'allama ya ta'allamu ta'alluman. Not ta'allaman. So don't get so fatha fied that everything is fatha fied. There's lots of fathas, but there is at least one dhamma here. And that's right before you get to the meme letter, right? So, um, or in this case, the lam letter, the last letter, right? Ta'allama ya ta'allamu ta'alluman. Say that with me. Ta'allama ya ta'allamu ta'alluman. Now it's time to let you in on a couple of important secrets that if you remember, it'll help you with yourself a lot. And that is that after fahuwa, there's always an ism fa'il. Yes. Right? And whatever you do in the second line, after fahuwa, there's an ism maf'ul. Yeah. The done to ism we talked about. Yeah. But here's the secret about them. The, the ism fa'il will always have a mu mm -hmm. and a e. Yeah. Mu and e. e. And the ism maf'ul will always have a mu a. Uh, yeah. The ism fa'il meaning, ism fa'il means the last word at the end of this line. Yeah. All, doesn't matter which family. Any family I tell you, even the families I haven't taught you, same thing. Mu i, mu i, mu i. So muslimun, mu'al limun, mujahidun. You notice that? Yeah. And in the second lines, the ism maf'ul was always mu a, mu a. Why? Muslamun, mu'allamun, mujahadun. Yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. So here it's going to be muta'al, sorry, muta. Alimun. Why? Because they want the mu and the e. Yeah. And the e is right. All the other harakah didn't change. It's just before you get to the ending, mm -hmm. there's one e. Okay. So everything else stayed ta and ta, right? So the, mm -hmm. they want to put a mu in the beginning and then ta'al and then li. Mu ta'al limun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try the, try this with nazala. This this line. What would the first word be, Maryam? What do you think? Would be na. No, the first if you if you put this, mm. this is the fa letter. Yeah. This is the ain letter. This is the lam letter. Uh -huh. Right. This is the fa letter. Yeah. This is the ain letter. This is the lam letter. Mm. So I want you to replace this fa ain lam oh. with this fa ain lam. Yeah. There's a lag. There's a what? There's a lag. Okay. Okay. Let me end the broadcast and restart then. Mm, maybe try removing and adding the screen first. Or let me get off the broadcast for the screen and then bring the broadcast back on. Yeah. Let me bump, bump this, uh, kick out this. Eh? Kick from studio. Okay. Now let's try it again. Making broadcast that stick. Uh, Ahmed, can you read this for me? Yeah. UY4. UY4. UY4T9. Mm -hmm. and oh, no, no, it's Arabic. Oh, no. UY4T9. Uh huh. Uh, N. Mm -hmm. SE. Mm -hmm. 6U. Okay. Let's see. Bra. That was allowed. Clap. I look so Afghan with this. You do. I look so Afghan with this. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You look like you can like pull it off. I could. I could like sell carpets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sell carpets in Kabul. Yeah. I mean, you could. I could. Yeah. How do you say carpets for sale? Um. Toshaka. Um, Toshak. No. Uh. I forgot. Hold on. You do not. Barfrosh. Barfrosh means like for sale, but I don't yeah. know how to say it. One. Barfrosh. Baby Gray, Exera. Baby, what now? Yeah. Baby, Bia. Bia. Uh huh. Biggie. Bia, Biggie. Yeah, Exera. Bia, Biggie, Exera. Bia, Biggie, Exera. Barfrosh. 
ferocious. But ferocious son. Okay, okay, okay. Arabic class again. Okay. <laughs> One day I will go to Afghanistan. One day I will go to Afghanistan. Inshallah. Okay. Ta'allama ya ta'allamu ta'alluman fa huwa muta'allimun. Maryam, I asked you to put this, this, and this. Ta'ain lam and meme. The, 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 the fa'ain and lam. By the way, is the lag on? Uh, click something. Uh, how, how's that? That's pretty good. It looks fine. Yeah. Okay. So, you remember what we did with the fa'ain and lam letters? Mm -hmm. So, every every family, any word in this family has three letters that are the fa'ain and lam letter. Yeah. The rest are just a part of the shape, mm -hmm. which means they're always the same. Yeah. It's the fa'ain and lam letters that you replace with other fa'ain and lam letters. Mm -hmm. So the fa'in and lam letters here are ilm, ain lam mim, yeah. which means the ta is gonna stay, yeah. and the ain lam mim will be replaced with this nun za and lam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's gonna become ta nazala. Or like ta so you got you're looking at mim, but you're really replacing it with lam. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So ta nazala, mm -hmm. say it. Ta nazala. And then there's no lam. Right. Um, well, there's no ain here. That, well, there's no meme there. Oh, oh, no, yeah. No, land, land. So? Tanazaluman. Tanaz. You're getting there. Tanazu. You're keeping the meme from this. Tanazulan. Yes, now say it again. Tanazulan. There's a Tanazulan, like the Aluman. Tanazulan. Oh, Zulan, okay. Tanazulan. We're not going to keep the meme. The meme was part of Ain Lam meme, but I'm replacing Ain with Noon, mm -hmm. Lam with Za, and Meme with Lam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can't say Tanazuman, yeah. then I replace two, but not the third one. Yeah. Right? So Fahua Muta Alimun, the Mu and the Ta stay. They stay, and the ain lam mim replaced with nun zalam. So what do you say? Muta, um, yes. Naz, yes. Naz, naz, lun. Lun. Muta naz zi lun. Yeah, muta naz zi lun. Good. Ta'allama, now say it again. Ta'allama. Ya ta'allamu. Ya ta'allamu. Ta'alluman. Ta'alluman. Fahuwa muta'allimun. Fahuwa muta'allimun. Try to say it without looking. No, there's no you. These are Fatha families. Now remember, in the first three, this is it's good you made that mistake. Look at something. Aslama. And the present tense was yuslimu. And then allama. And it was yuallimu. And jahada was yujahidu. You remember that? Yeah. Right now, notice the aslama has you. Yeah. Allama has you. you. The present tense has you. Mm -hmm. Jahada has you. You see those? Yes. Those are the only. I'm going to teach you eight families. Okay. But those are the only three families that you say you after them. Mm. All the other families have ya. Okay. So yeah. these are the, the these are the Dhamma families. Yeah. Why are they Dhamma? they're a group? Yeah. Aslama yus not yaslimu, it has to be yus yuslimu. Allama cannot be yaallimu, it has to be yeah. yuallimu. And then jahada has to be yeah. yujahid. Yeah. Of course, in every family, in the second line, you have to have u anyway. So yeah. because the passive is u a. Remember yeah. u a? Yeah. So in this line, in the, in this family, by the way, notice here it's not yuta allamu, it's what? Right? And every other family I teach you from here, it won't have U. So when you see U in the beginning, there's only two possibilities. If you, in, in Quran, if you see U in the beginning or two, like the, the, the things that make us a word mudari, a present tense is the Ya beginning, Ta beginning, Alif beginning, Nu beginning, right? Noon beginning. If you see U on those sounds, there's only two possibilities. One possibility is they belong to one of these three families. Alladina yu'minuna bil ghaib, maybe this family. Wa yuqimuna salat, this family. Ara'ayta alladhi yukadhibu bil deen, or one of these families. Okay? So, that's one way to look. 
The other possibility is it's got to be passive. What does passive do? Passive wants you and a a. Right? So, uslima yuslamu, ulima yu'allamu, jahada or yujahidu, yujahadu. Right? Juhida yujahadu. Even yansuru became yunsaru. Yunsaru. So, when you see dhamma in the beginning, it's yeah. mostly either this family mm-hmm. or it's passive. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, ta'allama yata'allamu ta'alluman fahuwa muta'allimun. Notice there's no u anymore. Yeah. Because we're done with the three u families. Mm-hmm. The three, three u families. Yeah. Okay? Now try to do this from memory. Ta'allama yata'allamu. Um, Excellent. Yeah. Now, what are the two sounds? You've done the second line for the Astama family. Yeah. You've done the second line for the Allama family. Mm-hmm. You've done the second line for the Jahada family. Mm-hmm. Can you remember what the first word was in the Astama family in the second line? After oh, Astama, you still. Good. Sima. You both remember. What was the first word in the Allama family, in the second line? Ullima. Good. Ullima. What was the first word in the Jahada family? Juhida. Juhida. That's the one you're working on still a little mm-hmm. bit. Okay. So Juhida. Okay. Notice U, E, A. U, E, A. U, E, A. Isn't the same thing happening over and over again? Yeah. yeah. And I told you when I taught you pa- passive in the past tense, this is passive past tense, right? Yeah. That you get as many oohs as you want, mm-hmm. and right before the ending, you put an e. Yeah. So ta'allama will keep the same, you know, rhyme scheme, and it will be tu'ullima. 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 stays. Mm-hmm. We still want the oohs, but since we have too many letters now, mm-hmm. we get more than one. Remember, we said oo 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 e. This is one of those oo 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 e situations, yeah. right? So one u wasn't going to be enough. Mm-hmm. So tu'ullima. Say it. Tu'ullima. And again, it's no different than u and e here, u and e here, u and e here. First words always you do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So tu'ullima. And then what you learned about the present passive was u followed by as many as as you need. So it's u a a a a a. So we're going to change yata'allamu to you ta al mu. Actually, all the other fathas were already there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So the only thing is that the ya became you. you. you okay. Ta'allamu. So I'm reminding you again if you see you in the Quran somewhere, the letter you yeah. on the present tense, mm-hmm. it could be from these families because they have a you in the beginning, mm-hmm. or it could be a, from the passive line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Those are the two possibilities. Yeah. Anyway. Those are just shortcuts for remembering this. Uh, mustar says mustar, right? Yeah. yeah. So? Uh, ta'alluman. Ta'alluman. Muta'allamun. Good. Because all ism of rules are mu and a. Yes. Muslamun, mu'allamun, mujahadun, na muta'allamun. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And of course, the other way to remember that is you always take this guy. Mm-hmm. And make it except this one didn't follow because they want a mu and a e always. Yeah. And this one wants a mu and a a always, right? So muta'allamun. Now what comes next? Uh, Al amru minhu. Now, this is this gets even way easier. If you remember the first word, mm-hmm. No, because this is a fatha family, uh, so you don't even have to change the fatha. So you say al amru minhu ta'allam. 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 Mm-hmm. Al-amru minhu? Ta'allam. Ta'allam. Now let me remind you how we used to make the, the commands. Ta'allamu. Ta'allamu in Arabic means you help. Or you you learn, sorry. You learn. Mm-hmm. Okay? The ta beginning means you. You. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Ta beginning. Remember? Ya, ta, yeah. and alif, and nun. Mm-hmm. And there's four kinds of ta. Ta with ani, ta with una, ta with ina, ta with na. Remember we did yeah. that? Mm-hmm. So ta means you help. Now I say, how do you make this a command? Well, you make it a command by first making it the lightest. Yeah. U is normal. Mm-hmm. A would be light. What would be the lightest? Ta'allam. 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 Stop at it. Yeah. Ta'allam. Mm-hmm. Now, what did you just say? When I said something wrong, he looked at me, but then he also got it wrong. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why did you say? Because constantly competing. Now, it's the lightest. Mm-hmm. And then the second thing in a command is you have to get rid of what? 
You have to go to the extra task. Right. What's left? Ta'allam. Ta'allam. But the shortcut when you learn families is you can just look at the past tense. You know yeah. what it's going to sound like. Ta'allam. Ta'allam. Yes. Okay. Al-amru minhu ta'allam. Wa nahyu anhu la. Well. Ta'allam. Good. Ta'allam. Because we didn't get rid of the extra though. Yeah. La ta'allam. Al-amru minhu ta'allam. Wa nahyu anhu la ta'allam. It's a pretty cool word. Ta'allam. Yeah. لا تتعلم okay. والظرف منه any ideas متعلم you already know it yeah. yeah both of you okay now let's see if you can do this from memory all of it yeah okay. no, it's not really that uh, challenging let me just Come on, you can look at it and get it. You have to sound it out. So you can look at it and say it a few times. Okay. Go ahead. Wait, can you spell it up a sec? Uh, yeah. Mm, hold on. I want to make sure all of it fits in. That's good. Okay. 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 No, the dhalf is not written wrong, internet. <laughs> Why no kasra in the... Good. And then the next row is... Um, uh, um, yeah, so ta'allama became... Ta the, the first word was ta'allama. You're converting yeah. that word. Ta'allama ta is tu'ullima. Oh, tu'ullima. Hmm. Ta'allamu ta'alim. No, ta'alim is a different family. Oh, yeah. uh, and then this goes back to uh, ta'alluman fahuwa muta'allamun. Yes. Al-amru minhu ta'allam wa nahi anhu ta'allam. La. La ta'allam wa dharfu minhu muta'allamun. Oh, wow. The average myself 75. Using my feet. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mayim. Yeah. Uh, no, no, wait, it. wait. You take her chair. Okay. Come, my young Padawan. Even though you are older. No, actually, you know what? Ahmed, you sit here. Okay. You sit here. You sit here. Okay. I'm the boss now. Okay. So I thought it's the boss, guys. Oh, what the? Change our school. Oh my God, no! It's a Fatha family. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Good. That's excellent reading, but we want to do this from memory. <laughs> so it's phenomenal reading, though. So yeah. I'm gonna check your eyeballs. Asad, can don't I? Look up. Asad, okay. yeah. can I type stuff to distract you like you do? No. Okay. The Allama yet. The Allama yet. The Allamu you you. Stop it! Stop it! All right. The um the Allama yet. The Allamu yet. The Alluman. The Alluman. The Alluman. Fahua. No, After Fahua is always an ism fari, right? An ism fari, then every family starts with mu. Fahua. Fahua. Fahua mu. Muta'allimun. Muta'allimun. Start over. Ta'allama yu ta'allama yu ta'allamu. Why not you? Tell me, Mariam, why not you? Because it's a Fatah family. And where is where does you come? Anyway. How many families get a U? Three. Yeah, there's not one of them. Mm -hmm. That's why. Go ahead, start up, start again. Ta'allama ya ta'allamu ta'alluman. It's okay. One glance is in your face. <laughs> start over. Ta'allama ya ta'allama ya ta'allamu ta'alluman. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's just a little tiny little look. It's okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Good. Um, the second line always has the same two sounds to start with. The only man. Uh huh. You ta'allimu. You ta'allamu. Yes, good. Ta'allamu. Good. You sorted it out yourself. The only man you ta'allamu. Brilliant, Maniam. Go ahead. Ta'alluman. Yes. Fahua muta'allamun. Wow. Wal amru minhu tu'allim. Nope. Ta- nope. Different family. What okay. was the first word? Ta'allim. No. Ta'allim. What was the first word? Ta'allamu. Ta'allama. Right. So? Oh, so you, okay. Alamru minhu ta'allam. Yes. Wa nahyu anhu ta'allam. La ta'allam. La ta'allam. Yes. La ta'allam. Yeah. La ta'allam. Wa dharfu minhu. So there's a spammer in here. That's okay. Wa dharfu minhu. Muta'allamun. Okay, let's go. All right. Get out. Why? They saw your Shame. face and they're like, it's not the one. Why did you shave your beard? <laughs> <laughs> Does Nama Ali Khan reply to replies? Furious. Right. Their name is Furious. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they're going to stay furious. Okay, so <laughs> it's okay. Fast and furious. All right. Or else, uh, a bit too. Can we get a band in here, please? Who's our moderator? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I can moderate from here. Do you have like a moderator? Walk user. Hey, you can. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. I have to find somewhere else to express my Anger. feelings. <laughs> well, anyway, ta'allamu ta'allamu ta'allamu. by the way, I have so many like amazing ideas mm. that I haven't done yet, yes. but I'm gonna. Mm-hmm. But since you guys are my students, I can tell you. Yeah. One of my ideas. Is to shave your beard. No, no, no. Is I'm gonna start like a, like a weekly show. Mm-hmm. With me and me and Suhaib, me and mm-hmm. Sheikh Suhaib, mm-hmm. and we're gonna read the most epic comments we got that week. Because some of you guys make the most epic comments, that. I don't know what to do with myself if I keep them to myself. I don't want that wisdom to be lost. Yeah. Because I just give you one example. Yeah. So I was talking in a lecture about um, how people use the Quran for like they come up with different things to do with Quran, right? So yeah. somebody says if you're having a baby, then you should recite Surah Maryam yeah. because Maryam had a baby, yeah. and I'm like, mm, okay, except. She almost died and she wished she was dead and she got horribly humiliated when she had a baby and it was not an easy birth experience for her. Yeah. And I mean, Allah helped her throughout it, but yeah. um pretty sure that's not the purpose of, you know. Yeah. So then there was a lady who had a baby and she read Surat Maryam when mm-hmm. she was having her baby, yeah. right? And she wrote in the comments that she believes that she, you should do that, which is great. You were entitled to your opinion, but the way she wrote it, she said, she's, no, she said, listen to this. She said this. She said, I I read Surah Maryam when I was having a baby just like Maryam. Maryam alayhi salam. And I was like, wait, wait, what? You read Surah Maryam just like Maryam did? <laughs> because Surah Maryam, you know, kind of wasn't there yet. Yeah. <laughs> A couple thousand years. It'd be kind of weird if. Maryam was reading Surah Maryam <laughs> about having the baby. <laughs> but <laughs> so epic comments like that, um, I think they deserve to be recorded in history. Yes. So yes. That would be uh, it's one of the one of the things I want to do with my life. <laughs> <laughs> you about a good 30 minutes or like an hour? No, maybe, probably 10 minutes should be enough. 10 minutes. Enough waste of time. Enough yeah. waste of time. Okay. <laughs> ah, the comments. Um Human humor is not a waste of time. Yeah, somebody wrote to me, I'm really I'm really good with English grammar. <laughs> I was like, I bet you are. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. I'm very good with English grammar. Grammar. Like a grinder. <laughs>
Ta'alama is a fatha family, right? So I'm going to write it again. And I just want you to know why I want to teach you two families at the same time. Ta'alama ya ta'alamu. Sorry, ya ta'alamu. Ta'aluman fahuwa muta'alimun. Now watch this. There's another family called, I call it the ta'awana family. Ta'awana. What family? Ta'awana. Ta'awana. Right? Yes. Now, you know how like the Allama mm -hmm. and the Jahada family were kind of similar in memorizing? Yeah. Except one of them had a Shadda and the other one had an Alif. Mm -hmm. Really, right? So, Yu'allimu, yeah. Yujahidu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mu'allimun, Mujahidun. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Allim, Jahid. Yeah. Like so much of it was kind of similar except mm -hmm. you did one with uh, Shadda and you did yeah. the other one with an Alif. Mm -hmm. Ta'awana is another family and unlike the Allama where there's a Shadda, it wants an alif. Okay. The ta is extra. The alif is extra. Mm -hmm. The the real letters are wa, ayn, waw, and noon. Yeah. Okay. So watch this. Just like the allama was ta'awana, ya ta'allamu will be in this family, ya ta'awanu. Oh, ya ta'awanu. Right? Mm -hmm. And the mustar used to be ta'alluman in that family. In this family, it's ta'awunan. Ta Same thing. Dhamma came, dhamma came. Okay. And then fahuwa. Muta'awinun. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'll change ta'awana now to another word. Tasa'ala. Mm -hmm. We'll do tasa'ala instead. Yeah. It's better. Tasa'ala. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yatasa'alu. Yeah. Yatasa'alu. Yatasa'alu. Can you can you guess the mustar? Uh, um, ta'awan. Mm -mm. Uh, that would be the oh, mustar yeah, would be a. Uh, it would be a uh, tasa alun. No, dhamma. Let me pull something up. Oh, hold on. That would be a dhamma. So yeah, tasa u. Yeah. Tasa u. Lan. Yeah. Tasa u lan. Okay. Tasa u lan. Fahua. Mutasa. Mutasa Ilan Ilon Ilon, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. Tasa Ala Yatasa Alu Tasa Ulan Fahua Mutasa Ilon. Mariam, do you remember Hua Yansuru, Humayan Surani, Hum Yansuruna? Try it with Yatasa Alu, just the first three. Hua Yatasa Alu, Huma Huma what? Hua, Hua, the first one? First one will be huwa yatasa'alu as opposed to huwa yansuru. Huwa yatasa'alu huma yatasa'aluna yatasa'alani huma yatasa'alani mm -hmm. hum hum yatasa'ala yatasa'a yatasa'alun not ayn, it's hamza, yatasa'a yatas hum yatasa'a no, not a, yatasa'a yatasa'a? yeah yatasa'a, hum yatasa'a a what? hum goes with what? ya beginning and what ending? Huwa yansuru, huma yansurani, hum. Yansuruna, yatasa, yatasa. Yatasa, uh. Yatasa, aluna. That's right. Yatasa, mm. aluna. The, the, the reason it took you so long to get the answer is because you were seeking the answer on my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you were looking at here, you would have said yatasa, aluna a long time mm -hmm. ago. You yeah. stopped at yatasa, uh, and you were looking for the lamb in my beard somewhere. Yeah. And it wasn't there. <laughs> so you kept looking at me and saying, yatasa, uh, yatasa. show it to me. Yeah. Yatasa, uh, show it. I mean, maybe some... Strands of my beard do look like the lamb. I don't know, but it still wasn't here. So I had to bring you back here. And you said, oh, yeah, it's here. <laughs> it wasn't on your face. Yatasa aluna is correct. Amma. Yatasa aluna. Oh, is you you really yatasa aluna? No, yatasa yatasa aluna. Okay. This is not the Jweed or Makhraj class, but I need to know the difference between these two. Okay, if you guys know the difference, then um, where do I put it? Okay. 
Yung Saara. That's Qa'ara. Oh, oh, Qa'ara. Okay, yeah, I mean, Qa'ara. Now say the first one again. Um, Sa'ala. Sa'ala? Sa'ala. It's not Sa'ala? No. Sa'ala. It's not Sa'ala? Sa'ala. Okay, so Sa'ala. what's this then? Um, Tasa'ala. Tasa'ala. But why were you, was it the Sa'ala for so long? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> this tiny it? little baby Hamza looks like a Ain's head. So you said, hey, you look like someone I know. <laughs> yeah. Is that why? I don't know. But don't mix the Hamza and the Ain. Mm-hmm. What happens with some people is when they learn Arabic, right? Because mm-hmm. the, the most weird letter of Arabic that sounds like you're in Arab is Ain. Yeah. So they're like, if I Ain everything, I'll sound more like an Arab. <laughs> yeah. So like, assalamu alaikum, how are you? <laughs> My name is Ahmed. It's, your name is not Ahmed. It's yeah. Ahmed. Ahmed yeah. Okay? So adding more Ains doesn't make you sound more Arab. Yeah. Add a Ain where there is a Ain. When you start adding Ains everywhere else, that just sounds like you have a throat problem. <laughs> okay, so don't do that. Yeah. So the two families are Ta'allama yata'allamu ta'alluman fahuwa muta'allimun Tasa'ala yata'sa'alu tasa'ulan fahuwa muta'sa'ilun In the second line, it was tu'ullima, right? So it's going to be tusu'ila. Oh, that's the, this is the second family we're learning, right? Yeah. Okay. The first family had a shadda in it. Yeah. Bunch of fathas and a shadda in it. The second family has an alif in it. Yeah. But the changes are basically the same. same yeah. So it's better to learn them together. The two ta families. Yeah. And the two ta families are fatha families because there's lots of fathas in them. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tusu ila yuta sa'alu. Because the present tense always wants you and mm-hmm. a. Yeah. And it was one u. And multiple as, mm-hmm. and in the past passive, you want multiple oos and just one e. Yeah. Oo e. Yeah. Tasa a became tu su e. Okay. It, because this was a long sound, this mm-hmm. had to be a long sound, yeah. right? Okay. So you tasa alu. The mustard is the same. Tasa ulan. And the, the ism mafrul is always the same way. The ism fa'il, the first one. This is the ism fa'il. It's always mu and e, and the is a muf is always mu and good mu and a good. The ending like the last one, is, the last one is pretty easy. Mutasa alun al amru minhu. Now, what did you do with the alama? You didn't even make any changes. You just copied the first word and put a sukun on it. Mm-hmm. You can do that again. The sa ala becomes tasa al wa nahi anhu la tasa al. Remember, la tata'allam? Yeah. La tata'allam? So, la tata'sa'al. Yeah. Wa dharfu minhu? Wa dharfu minhu? Mutasa'alun. Mutasa'alun. So smart. Two families. Yes. You got to know them well. And now that makes it a total of five families. Yeah. Apprentice. Yeah. Well, well, they're, they're in the handout, right? Ajawad? What was that? Are the families there in the in the uh, exercise drills or no? I don't think so. Are they written out? Yeah, um, and I uploaded a PDF as well that has um, like whatever example word you're using for each family. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's open that up. Actually, it's a PDF file. So give me the URL. Yeah. One sec. President. Oh my god, why am I showing election results? I don't care. Right now. Right now, the, the world doesn't exist. Yeah. Only Arabic exists. You want the PD, you want the thing? The only for thing the... undecided right now is which family is a word. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You want the PDF or do you want the workbook? Uh the PDF. What are you doing? I've been running a lot, so I have a lot of like muscles. Why? So Arij asks, I'm confused. Why does the pa- passive past has the U sound on the second letter? Well, the passive past tense has multiple U's if you need them, and then one E right before you get to the last letter. That's the, that's the kind of a rule. It's not one U sound and one E sound. It's as many U sounds as may be needed, and then an E sound. Uh, um, I can't see that. Oh, I can see it. Somebody spelled my name. So right. it's two through four now, and I'm adding five and six today. Matcha. Yeah. Okay. So let me, since you since you did it this way, let me just show people a little bit of this the sad reality of families. 
sibling fight. Okay, so I want to show you guys something. Let me open this up. No, why is it opening in here? I want it open in here. Slaughter families. Okay. So notice here it says Alama and it says family too. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then it says Jahada family yes. three. Mm -hmm. And then it says Aslama family four. four yes. Right? Mm -hmm. But we didn't learn it in that order, did we? No. We learned it as Aslama almost like, was like our first family, family yeah. number one. Mm -hmm. And then Alama was family number two. Mm -hmm. And then Jahada was family number three. three yeah. Okay. This system, family four, family two, yeah. family three, mm -hmm. this is something that was developed by uh, Europeans. Oh. That were studying Arabic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they came up with a system of calling families by numbers. Oh, okay. And they came up with this number system. Mm -hmm. And when they wrote their dictionaries, like yeah. Lane's, like, I'll show you one, one uh, dictionary. There's, there's PDFs of this online. But this is a copy of Lane's lexicon. It's an older copy oh, it of Lane's lexicon. Edward Lane wrote a pretty amazing dictionary of the Quran. Oh. Right, mm -hmm. and you know how we talk about three root letters, yeah. Right, so this is multiple volumes. This is like so. Part this eight. one goes from noon to ya. Noon this is part ya. eight. Okay. This is volume eight, mm -hmm. right? And you would think it's a big book, so it must have big letters. It has tiny, tiny, tiny script. I'll, I'll bring it close to the camera. Why does it have tiny letters? Because they have to fit all of that information. Um, and even then, it took eight volumes. Let's see. You can't really see it. Can you? No, I can't. Let me focus, change focus. Ha Ahmed Shah, look, see somebody has oh, Ahmed Shah. You see how tiny the print is? Okay. Yeah, it's hard to right? see. So it's, it's hard to see. Now, now we can't see you. Let me fix the camera again. Oh, look at how bright you got. A yeah. bright young man. <laughs> I'm a star. Okay. In the galaxy. So anyway, so in this in this lexicon, when you go to, for example, we did Ain La Meme over here, mm -hmm. right? So if I go to Ain Lam Meme, mm -hmm. it's going to say, oh, Ain Lam Meme in family number two means this. And family number four means this. Mm -hmm. It'll say it like that, yes. right? So those numbers will be there in parentheses, two, four, five. Mm -hmm. And when they say two, a student knows by two, they mean Allama Yu'allimu Ta'aliman. Yeah. So they won't write Allama Yu'allimu Ta'aliman. They'll just write two and tell you the meaning. And then they'll write three and tell you the meaning. So mm -hmm. this is basically the colonizer's way of teaching Arabic. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. so they came up with this num number mm -hmm. scheme, and the English dictionaries you consult, they will have this number scheme, and then the universities that taught Arabic, um, they all use the same number scheme. Mm -hmm. So, Cambridge University, other universities, when they teach Arabic, uh, and their curricula have the numbers, they they use these numbers. So, if you're going to use one of those dictionaries, and some of those dictionaries are very very good, mm -hmm. and some Muslims have written dictionaries of the Quran that use the number scheme too. Yeah. Right, so the, it's good to know. I personally. Uh, hate them. I call it the Aslama family, not family four. Yeah. And the Alama family. family uh, no, it's, uh, it's the Alama family. Yeah, it's and the Jahada family. But it's good to know the numbers. So the numbers are going to be there for when we do some research type stuff. Okay. Because they, some author will say family two, family three, family four, yeah. etc. Okay? And their scheme is different than ours. Well, I, it would be family one then. It's, just family two. Mm, it's coming. Don't لا تسألوا عن أشياء إن تبدأ لكم تسوقكم. Well, no. Let me. Let's go through the ayah. Actually, this is one thing I've been meaning to do today, and I've served you enough. Yeah. So, Allah says, لا تسألوا عن أشياء إن تبدأ لكم Okay. Come, come from Antum. Antum means y'all. Yeah, let me just pull up the. I'm not. I'm not Doctor Zakir, so I can't tell you the IA number. Hold on. <laughs> That's why we have. Phones. I have an app for that. Yeah. La tasalu. Ya tasalu an ashia in tubda lakum tasukum and tasalu an anha hina yunazal Quranu yubda tubda lakum afa Allahu anha wallahu ghafurun halim. IA number one o one of surah number five. So actually, let me pull it up from the script itself. Um, so, Surah Al-Ma'idah, 
Surat Al-Ma'ida, those of you who don't know, you learned some things about Quran in this Arabic class too, as we go. Surat Al-Ma'ida is the last surah Allah gave. Oh, okay. So the last large chunk of Quran is Surat Al-Ma'ida. So Makkah has been conquered mm. and the enemies have been defeated. And now it's like the final comments from Allah mm. to the Ummah. Yeah. And those are in Surat Al-Ma'ida. Mm. Okay, so that's a very yeah, important surah to understand yeah. the farewell of the Quran. The Quran's giving farewell to the Ummah and saying th these are the last words to remember of Allah of the the 23 years Quran's been coming down. The last pieces of that are actually this uh, this surah. So uh, just let's just kind of explore a little bit of this ayah and look at some things that you are now familiar with. There are a number of things I can see here that you're not familiar with yet, mm -hmm. but you know some things you are. So might as well play with it a little bit yeah. th with the Arabic and see what you can understand. Okay, Ya Yuhaladina, we didn't do yet. Um, it's called, you know, uh, you who, you, who? you, not the chocolate milk, but oh. you who, you, you people who, oh, okay. okay, and then Amanu uh, is Aslama. Uh, let me okay. let me show this to you. So the letters were Hamza, Mim, and Noon, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And if you put them in the Aslama family, mm -hmm. you would get Amana, you Minu, yeah. Oh yes, you would. We get Amana, you Minu, yes. But the Arab said, A'mana is too much of a hiccup. Yeah. A'mana sounds like a hiccup. Mm -hmm. So they made it smoother. They took a yes. and made it a'mana. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's still considered part of the Aslama family, yeah. but you got to be a little more advanced to know that immediately. Yeah. So it's a'mana yu'minu imanan fahuwa mu'minun, u'mina yu'minu imanan fahuwa mu'minun, alamru minhu a'min, wa nahi wa'anuhu la tu'min, wa dharfu minhu mu'minun. That's later because that's irregular. Okay. But anyway, huwa a'mana, huwa nasara, huma nasara, hum nasaru, right? Mm -hmm. So huwa amana huma amana hum amanu and that's why amanu oh, okay. the ones who believe the ones who they they believed okay so um, we'll, we'll see the relationship between alladina and amanu later on mm -hmm. okay now ya ayyuhalladhina amanu exclamation mark those of you who have believed mm -hmm. exclamation mark yes. then the rest of it is separate mm -hmm. now la it has la so la tas wait 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 if I said yes, Alu mm -hmm. means he asks. Yeah. Yes, Alu means mm -hmm. he asks. Yeah. Think about this before you tell me. Think a lot about this. Mm. Das Aluna. If yes, Alu means he asks, mm. what does das Aluna mean? She? No. You didn't think enough. Una. Una. Ta beginning is she, can be. Yeah. But it's not ta beginning. Ta beginning can mean something else too, Maria. Plus Una ending. Right. It is so you have to remind yourself what does that mean? That means uh, doesn't just mean she. Means you. Yes. Means he too. No, it doesn't mean he. That's yeah. Oh, this means ta. Uh, so be you. Okay, remind yourselves. Alif means I. I. Our u is I. Uh, yes. Na or nu is we. we. Ya is he. He. Ya with ani is. Ya with ani both is both of you. Ya with una is all of you. Ya with na mm -hmm. is. Uh, we, uh, they. Them ladies. Them ladies. Ta. Ta, it's you. Right. Mm -hmm. Ta with Ani is. Uh, both of you. Ta with Una is. All of you. Do you not see Ta with Una? Oh, all of also, you. Also, you remember. Now, that's one way to get the answer. What's the other way to get the answer? Why did I make you memorize? Mariam, do this for me. Hua Yansuru. No, no, we didn't memorize Hua Tansuru. Astaghfirullah Azim. Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi rajiun. Allahu Akbar. Answer, wait, wait, Yansuru? it's her turn. Yansuru? I asked her. Yes. Hua Yansuru. Oh, okay. They said Tansuras. Okay. Hua Yansuru, Huma Yansurani, Hum Yansuruna. Yeah. Hia Tansuru, Huma Tansurani, Hum Yansuru. Hunna? Hunna Yansurna. Anta Tansuru, Antuma Tansurani, Antum, Antum Tansu, Tansurna. Anti. Tan no, that's not Antum Tansurna is wrong. Antum Tansuruna. Say that again. 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 Antum Tansuruna. Why am I making you say it again and again? Because it matches it. Why? How does it match it? Because it has a ta beginning and an ending. And what Arabic word did you keep saying before you said Tansuruna? Antum. What does Antum mean? Antum, um, um, they. What does hum mean? Hum means. Hum means what does hua mean? Both of them. What oh, is hua? hua? Hua means he. Huma. Huma, uh, both of them. Hum. They. Antum. 
a sheep. Really? Uh, what does he mean then? Oh wait, no, no, no. Anthem and wait, can you uh, can we start over? Okay, we can start over. What does hua mean? Hua. Hua means he. What does anti? What does what does ana mean? Ana means I. What does nahnu mean? We. What does anta mean? Anta. She. No. You. You. She. No, that's anti. Oh. Anti is. Both of uh, the you. Anta is you. Antum. Yeah. Antum is both of you. Then what's antuma? All of you. You're all mixed up with your pronouns. So you need to review your pronouns, and I'm going to give you a special pronoun test tomorrow. Okay. You you don't remember what the pronouns mean. Do you remember? Wait, 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 no, 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 wait. <laughs> Stop looking at him. I'm talking to you, Mario. Okay. The problem is you memorize them in order. So you said hua means he, huma means both of them, hum means they. And if they're not in order, you don't remember them. So you need to make flashcards of, of the pronouns mm -hmm. by hand. Okay. So one flashcard says hua, another says huma, another says hum. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yeah. And you've got to be able to know each one immediately. Now you said antum tansuruna, which is right. It yeah. matched, but you didn't remember what antum means. Now antum means all of you. If you don't remember that, then there's no, you won't benefit from memorizing that. So I want you to memorize something after you've understood it, after you can remember its meanings. Mm -hmm. So right now, the thing that's weak, that's going to hurt everything. Remember I said in the beginning, if your pronouns are weak, sarf is going to be impossible. Yeah. So that's where you're going to have trouble. So I want you to make sure that's right. Mm -hmm. That means you're going to do what? You tell me what you're going to do. I make flashcards. Yes, of what? Of the pronouns. On page meaning. what? On page 12. No. Page 6. No. Page 18. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're going to you make the flashcards. I want to see those flashcards. I want to hear you practicing those flashcards. I will I will stalk your father <laughs> and make sure that you're doing the flashcards. I will quiz you on the flashcards okay. because I'm quizzing her on the flashcards. And if it takes you more than a second to answer, that's a minus. Okay. Okay. Everybody needs to know their pronouns like the back of their hand. Immediate answers for the pronouns. Yeah. Can't afford not to know that. It's not enough to memorize the pronouns. Is it well known? Right. But it's not enough. You got to be able to read. I could say hunna and you say those women. Huma, both of them. Hum, they. Anta, you, anti, feminine, you, ana, I, antum, you all, antuna, you women. The answer should come like that. Not just, that's great, but without the meanings, pointless. Yeah. Everything I make you memorize, either right now or later on, will have to be associated with meaning. The only thing I didn't focus on meaning with was harf of nasab, harf of jar. Yeah, yeah. I didn't focus on the meaning of the light harf and the lightest harf. But the pronouns and their meanings, absolutely essential. Mm -hmm. Muslimun, Muslim, and Muslimin, and their meanings, absolutely essential. Ani means both of them. Una means they. You know, the, the plural, right? Mm -hmm. So those are essential. But pronouns, absolutely necessary. Now, I, I, you have to be honest with yourselves. And this is, by the way, this is not me getting upset at anybody who doesn't know their pronouns. Understand that. I want to make sure that you're not, you're, you're not progressing with the foundation not there. That will worry me. And if you need, we need to stop and we need to go back and do the pronouns, we'll do the pronouns. I don't care. But there's no point teaching something if you're not going to have the right foundation. Because if you build a building without a with a wobbly foundation, the building's going to collapse, mm -hmm. right? Pronoun is one of those things. It's a little thing. It's just a page. It's just 14 words. Mm -hmm. But man, if you don't know them, the kind of trouble that comes with it, yeah. right? So everything else you're memorizing is directly tied to pronouns. So master pronouns, master Arabic is, is what it is. Okay. Now, so some of you are having trouble. I know that. It's, Mariam's not the only one. Some of you are having trouble yeah. with the pronouns. And that means you need to drop everything else. Mm -hmm. Forget about, oh, we've done so much work. How will I remember everything? I don't care. Do you remember the pronouns? That's all. When you focus on one thing, you need to let go of everything else. Just focus on one thing. Yeah. I'll come back to this. <laughs> La tas'alu. Tas'aluna mm -hmm. is normal. Yes. And the light version of tas'aluna would be? Tas'alu. Tas alu. And the lightest version would also be tas tas alu. Alu. Now when you say la plus the lightest It becomes forbidding mm -hmm. Okay, it yeah. becomes what? Yeah. Forbidding. Yeah, forbidding So because this means all of you mm -hmm. So tas aluna means y'all ask mm -hmm. La tas alu means Don't ask Don't any of you ask and I add any of you, so it doesn't. If I say don't ask, it sounds like I'm talking to one person. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So don't any of you ask. Yeah. Or if it or the plural is already clear from Yayu Haladina Amanu, those of you who believe, don't ask. Now it's already clear that it's plural. Mm -hmm. So don't ask. Now, 
Aan is a half of jar. Yes. What's its job? Uh, to jarify the other word. To, to jarify the next word. But the problem is, the next word in the Quran does not look jarified. Mm. Any guess? Any guess why this word does not look jarified? It's non flexible. Close, close. Not non flexible. Oh, it's partly flexible. Right. So, therefore, um, uh, it, it is jar. Because of that, right? But it just can't show it. That's, that's what right. happened in uh, Munafiqun when I was reading it, right? It was in naka, in as a harf of uh, nasab, and ka, uh, it's an attached pronoun, but it won't show that. So therefore, well, right? Well, ka is an attached pronoun, so it's, attached pronouns can only be nasab or jazz. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't show that. Oh, wait, no, it did show it, but... Uh, I think you're thinking of another example. Yeah, forgot, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. An, harf of jar? Yes. Ashia'a, partly flexible? Well, so therefore it is, yeah. Yeah, means things. Ashia means things. things yeah. Don't ask about things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't ask about right. things. Yeah. In is the lightest half. In lam lama wal fali. And tubda is a is a complicated fi'l. Mm -hmm. You haven't learned complicated fi'l yet. We're having complications enough with the simple fi'l right now, yeah. so we're gonna take our time with that. But this is actually lightest in a weird way. It doesn't look lightest, it looks light, doesn't it? Yes. But it's actually lightest when you get far enough. And you'll be like, oh, this is like a Super Saiyan kind of lightest. That's Super Saiyan? It's okay. like Goku, right? Yeah, kind of a little bit. Okay, so if now Tubda, the, at least the Ta you can tell me. The Ta beginning in a present tense can be for you or she. Or she. Mm -hmm. But since broken plurals, because I said things, right? Yeah. <coughs> things can be treated like mm -hmm. she. She, yeah. And then, so this is actually she referring to the broken plurals. Okay. But if, you're, if it's referring to the broken plurals, I won't translate this as she. Mm -hmm. I'll translate it as they. they yeah. Because I don't have to be crazy in English. That's just a crazy rule in Arabic that the broken plurals talked yeah. about like a she. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean when I translate it in English, I have to say the things are a she. she yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. I have to go back to normal in English and say yeah. they. they. So I see a ta here, but I'm going to translate they. Now, you hear the two? Can you sound out the two sounds you hear on this present tense? Ash, yeah. No, no, no. This, this, oh. this word. What two sounds do you hear? Tubda. So u a. Mm -hmm. When you're learning surf, mm -hmm. there are two sounds on a present tense that make it passive. Yeah. What are the two sounds that make it passive? Well, a present. No, not a past tense. Oh, okay. Aslama is or uslima is past tense. Yeah. What's the next word? Yuslamu. Uh, Yus. La, la mu u a yeah you hear the u, you see the u a here uh, yeah yeah right mm -hmm. this is passive oh, okay in active it would have meant if they expose oh, okay but tubda actually means if they were exposed oh, okay mm -hmm. don't ask about things mm -hmm. if they were exposed okay if they were exposed so, la means Two. Two. Lam is a half of jar. Yeah, oh, yeah. So. Kum is from antum, which means. Yeah. Oh, antum okay. means. Uh, all of you. All of you. Kum comes from antum, antum. means antum. All, all of you. you. Pronoun review, right? Mm -hmm. So if they, be, be, if they became exposed to all of you, mm -hmm. if they became okay. exposed to, to all, of all of you, tasukum, they would be bad for all of you. Mm. And that's that's more complicated than you know right now. And? And in, we already did. What does in mean? If. If. Tas'alu. From tas'aluna. Ta beginning, una mm -hmm. ending. Mm -hmm. Why is the noon missing? Because mm -hmm. yeah, it's a uh, light. Light, version. light version or lightest light, light version? Lightest. lightest version because of in. Yeah. yeah. So instead of tas'aluna, it's tas'alu. Yeah. And if y'all ask. Mm -hmm. uh, an means about. Yes. If y'all ask about. Her. Her. Wait, who's she? I didn't talk. We talk about a woman it before? Be, no, it could be a it. Or it could be things. Things. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. If you ask about them, mm -hmm. if y'all ask about them, hina during mm -hmm. you know during the time when you nazalu. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Nazala. Nazala yunazilu. Then wait, slow down. Nazala yunazilu tanzilan. Fahuwa munazilun nuzila yunazalu. First line or second line then? Second line. Second line is always passive. Yeah. Okay. Nazala means he sent 
and he sent down. Yeah. Yunazilu means he sends down. Yeah. Yunazalu means it is being sent, sent down. down. It is being sent, sent down. down. Now you remember when there's a he or she, you can look for an outside mm -hmm. doer. Yeah. Well, you can also look for an outside done too. Oh yeah. When it's passive, you can look for an outside done too. Mm -hmm. So the, even though this is he is being sent down or it is being sent yeah. down, Quran is after and rougher. That's a more advanced grammar. We'll get yeah. to that later. But Quran replaces the word he. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, and if you ask about them during the time when Quran is being sent down, tubdalakum. Yeah. They will be exposed to you. Afa Allahu anha. Allah has pardoned regarding them. Wait, wouldn't that be to all of you? Yeah, to all of you. Yeah. Okay. And Allah, the Afa is a complicated uh, fail again. Allah has pardoned. Allah has forgiven in regards to them. Allah has overlooked in regards to them. Wallahu ghafurun halim. And Allah is extremely forgiving and extremely lovingly understanding. Halim. For they say forbearing. Now, what does this ayah mean? This ayah means that there were people because the Quran. This was the, the, the surah in which the final rules for halal and haram and things oh, like that were coming okay. down, right? Mm -hmm. So people started asking, you know, people say, what about this? What about this? What about, is that haram too? Is this haram too? Is that haram too? Okay. Like people have this like desire to ask about different things mm -hmm. and they want to get an answer for all of them, right? Yeah. Say, Ustaz, uh, my cat was sitting on my couch. Is that, does that mean I can't sit on the couch? Is that haram? <laughs> or, you know, Ustaz, yeah. um, what about my mustache? Uh, <laughs> is that haram? And what about if uh, you're, you know, if I have paint on my ear, uh -huh. is that haram? Or like weird stuff. Yeah. You want to come up with all kinds of questions and ask whether it's halal or haram, halal yeah. or haram. And Allah said, don't ask about things. Don't ask about certain things. If they became clear to you, you wouldn't like it. Yeah. They would be bad for you. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if you keep saying, is it haram, is it haram, is it haram? And Allah keeps saying what? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. More and more things would become haram. Mm -hmm. And then you would be so limited in what you can do. Yeah. So Allah says, and if the and if the if you do still want to ask about them while the Quran is coming down, then I will give an answer to you. It will be exposed mm -hmm. to you. But you know what? Afallahu <laughs> anha. Allah has forgiven about those things, meaning don't ask about them because if Allah didn't talk about it, it's okay. Oh, okay. It's halal for you. Because I didn't talk about it, so it's okay. Afallahu <laughs> anha. In other words, you're making things harder for yourself by asking too many questions. questions yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Because you want to like uh, uh, haramify Islam yeah. <laughs> too much. Mm -hmm. So chill out. Yeah. If Allah didn't talk about it, you don't have to make rules about it. Okay. Allah has forgiven. Allah is the extremely forgiving one. And you, we should be thankful to Allah that the Quran stopped coming down. Yeah. Because if the Quran, if the believers kept on asking questions mm -hmm. and the Quran kept on answering their questions, mm -hmm. the religion will be way harder than what it is now. Yeah. Right? But anyway, I was reminded of this ayah because you said, um, you said about uh, some some self question. You said, "Oh, so what's family number one?" Yeah. Oh yeah. And I said, "La <laughs> lakum Don't ask about things. If they became exposed to you, you wouldn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> it would be bad for you. <laughs> it's not time yet. So go enjoy your break." Oh, okay. Yes, Shahir, you are understanding. MashaAllah. Um, Jawad, you can answer questions if you like. Okay. <laughs> can we have more than one break? Yeah, no. You have 22 hours break. What are you talking about? Okay, let me just write the two families out. I just did the PDF, by the way. If they're already in there? I I didn't see it. I didn't see it in this PDF. Like just now. Oh, you updated okay. it? Yeah, if you refresh it, if you open it again from, from the link, it should I think it's cached. Yeah, no, that's that's the this one should have it. Okay, here we go. Ta'allam ta'allamu ta'alluman fa huwa muta'allimun tu'allimu ta'allamu ta'alluman fa huwa muta'allamun al-amru minhu ta'allam wa nahi anhu la ta'allam wa dharfu minhu muta'allamun and then 
tasa'ala yatasa'alu tasa'ulan fa huwa mutasa'ilun tusu'ila yatasa'alu tasa'ulan fa huwa mutasa'ilun al-amru minhu tasa'al wa nahyu anhu la tasa'al wa dharru minhu mutasa'ilun ya Can you so conjugate? Go back and catch up now. Can you conjugate the past and present of ta'allama? The full conjugation? Yeah. So huwa ta'allama, huma ta'allama, hum ta'allamu, hiya ta'allamat, huma ta'allamata, hunna ta'allamna, anta ta'allamta, antuma ta'allamtuma, antum ta'allamtum, anti ta'allamti, antuma ta'allamtuma, antunna ta'allamtunna, ana ta'allamtu, anahnu ta'allamna. And then huwa would be huwa yata'allamu, huma yata'allamani, hum yata'allamuna. هي تتعلم هما تتعلمان هن يتعلمن انت تتعلم انت انتما تتعلمان انتم تتعلمون انت تتعلمين انتما تتعلمان انتن تتعلمن انا اتعلم نحن نتعلم by the way when your صرف becomes good then speaking arabic is a piece of cake because you can just say the pronouns say the fi'l the right one the right tense just rolls out of your tongue so once you master this Pretty powerful skill. You can see now, like well, the more I studied Arabic, the more I saw in very early on, like I could see more and more why Allah chose this language. Like Allah has infinite reasons to choose something and we humans can never truly understand. But you can get a glimpse of why this language is so r so right for capturing the the you know the the drops of wisdom that Allah is giving us in the Quran, right? Because it's so precise and it's so mathematical that the 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 room to get something wrong or to mess something up there's no room uh, for it there, it's, it's so, such an airtight language so it's just a really powerful thing it's really really powerful and the more you learn it the more you get addicted to learning it hard as it is um, it gets easier and it gets more and more rewarding so I hope you're starting to taste that Not just the intimidation of learning the families But you're starting to taste Wow, this is this stuff is really heavy It's really powerful stuff And I haven't shared with you Like I gave you a glimpse of Oh, aslama can mean these things And allama can mean these things And jahada can mean these things I can't wait to get you to that point Where we can discuss the fawaid of the if'al And the taf'il and the mufa'ala family The benefits of them Some students ask What's the difference between jihad and mujahada They're both masters What's the difference There is a difference And sometimes Allah uses the jihad master And sometimes Allah uses the mujahada master And then there's a comparison between the two Hey subhanallah Allah used the perfect one here And the perfect one there Look at the perfection of Allah's speech Right So th those will be wow moments for us But that's when the time comes First you gotta master the stuff Inshallah Okay, so this thing about free membership, a lot of people keep uh, throwing that in. Let me just make that clear. Nobody's being denied a free membership. I, I changed that policy. Every, everybody has, if, if you have been studying from the beginning, this is now intensive three, if you've put in the hours and you have been studying, then you have a free membership. And if you just tuned in and you say, I want a free membership, you haven't proven yourself yet. Because when I go to the when I let the world know, hey, there are people studying Quran and they, we would like you to sponsor them, then I want and those people when they when they want to sponsor you because you have a free membership, they are doing that because they would like a share in the reward of your hard work. If you just tuned in for three minutes and you want a, a free membership, and somebody is sponsoring you with the expectation that you're doing hard work, and that's not fair to them or this organization or myself because I'm putting hard work in. Jawad is putting hard work in. The entire team is putting hard work in, which means you need to put hard work in. And if you're not putting hard work in, you shouldn't get a free membership. But that's on your conscience. On, on our end, I've made a clear policy. Anybody who's studying Arabic will not be denied. They just won't be denied. I, I won't say no. We're just going to let them roll in. Whatever the costs are, it doesn't matter. And then if people want to sponsor them, they'll sponsor them. That's, that's my open policy. And that's not a new policy. Ever since I started, but you know, that's been my policy. Wherever I went and taught a course, people came in and said, I can't afford it. Um, okay, well, then just don't explain yourself to me. Just sit down in the class. The only time I did have a strict tuition policy is when I actually put a campus together and I had to provide for a staff and I had to provide for, you know, resources, a building, furniture, all of this stuff put together for an actual school. And I didn't want to fundraise for it. So I said, you know what, students that come here, they'll need to pay a tuition so that 
we can I can pay the staff and we alhamdulillah we broke even every year but because that wasn't even the point of that wasn't to like profit from it the point of it was that it needs to at least stand on its own and even then half the students were sponsored by their communities and I would get really upset with them because those students that get sponsored by their communities or by somebody anonymously and then they show up late to class or then they don't do their homework or they don't memorize what they're supposed to memorize and then I catch them watching Netflix in class or whatever in some other teacher's class or not taking any of the subjects seriously, then they would get a good yelling from me because somebody gave you this amana. Somebody decided that you will earn rewards by seeking Allah's word and they will have a share in that. So you are being dishonest to them. And then some of you, your parents said, yes, you can take it. And they afforded your tuition, right? And then your parents have left you on your own devices. Nobody's monitoring you. You're living in a different city now and you're not doing your work. That's not cool. That is not okay. This is this is against qist. This is this is Allah Azza wa Jalla says, "Wa aqsitu inna Allah yuhibbu al muqsitin." Be fair when it's when it's uh, when it's obvious, when it can be gauged, and be fair when it's in secret. Allah loves those who are fair, and stay away from being unfair. So, ask for a sponsorship, get a sponsorship. It's completely fine. The staff has actually been inundated with requests for sponsorship, and they their flood the, the floodgates to. Bain and TV are open. So anybody who thinks they're not going to get in because they can't afford it, I, maybe they had, and that what that tells me is you haven't been following along. You haven't been listening and you haven't been learning. And that's why you think this is the case. So if you're a casual viewer and you make that request, then no. But if you have been studying and you make that case and you let me know, you let the team know, hey, I've been studying and I can't afford it. Well, then you have sponsorship. And actually nobody's been turned away. Nobody. And everybody's, I, I got a report just now, there's two days ago, everybody got in. I, I just wanted to make sure everybody has access. Doesn't matter what state, status. So that's, that's what we're trying to do here. So the, the point of getting people into uh, the, the Baina TV platform is to optimize the learning. The point isn't for you to pay tuitions. That's, that's not how I operate. That's on you. If you can afford it, Allah knows. If you can't afford it, Allah knows. That's none of my business. My business is teaching this language to the best best ability that I can. And I have such crazy, amazing ideas right now. Alhamdulillah, this morning I got hit with a, a, some kind of lightning. I woke up and I'm going to share those ideas with you. And that's going to make the platform even more important. Because you guys are sending me flashcards. You're sending me PowerPoint presentations. A brilliant student sent me all of the notes from the first intensive in PowerPoint form, visual aids for every single concept. Translated in English and then also in French. It was incredible. There, are, there's uh, somebody making animated short video clips of uh, literally a surfinator, where they are putting root words on one side and surf is coming out on the other. That's amazing stuff, but it's getting lost in comments and emails, right? I want to create a repository on our platform so you can go there and under every video, every one of these recordings, you can go there and say, oh, you can see the timestamp. Oh, at eight minutes, I talked about this. At 15 minutes, I made a useless joke or whatever. So students can support each other and, and help with the timestamps. Then the transcripts for every single lecture can be there. Then the, the, the resources and handouts and artwork that you guys are creating can all be there. Everybody can benefit from it. Then teachers that are teaching it in different languages can put their notes up and say the, 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 Germ the, the French notes can go up and the Germans can say, hey, we can take that and we can turn that into German. Thanks a lot. You did 80% you did of our work. You can collaborate with each other. We can create a community of students and teachers. On the, that, that's my goal. That's what I want, right? So if you're, if you're serious about this, you're not going to be turned away. And the more serious you are, the, I'll see it. I'll start reaching out to you and putting more responsibilities on you. Because you're not just going to be students. You're going to be my aides. You're, I'm going to tell you, hey, I need this and this and this. You did a really good job with this. Now I need this, this, and this. Because this is not a this, Bayina alone can't do it. Well, not alone on the on the staff side. It's the students and the teachers have to become a community now, and that's what I'm working towards, inshallah. Okay. So just on a side note, when people say that, then I'm like, but are you what? What are you saying? Um, Arabic questions. What does Al Amru mean? What does Al Amru mean? Al-Amru minhu means the command you make from this family is the, is the following. Al-Amru minhu ta'allam. So the command from this is ta'allam. wa nahyu anhu and the forbidding verb from it is la ta'allam. So commanding, al-Amru minhu, wa nahyu anhu, uh, forbidding from it. 
Okay, well, dharf and the word for time and place is as follows. Okay. Um, if I had taught you more grammar, then I could tell you the logic behind saying it this way. What it, you know, ta'allama ta'allamu ta'alluman fahuwa muta'allimun is actually an Arabic sentence. It's a coherent sentence. He learned, he learns. He learns quite a bit. The alluman, the masdar, actually adds the meaning. He learns quite a bit. So he's a learner. That's actually what it means. Ta'allama ta'allamu ta'alluman fahuwa muta'allimun. Aslama uh, yuslimu islaman fahuwa muslimun means he surrendered. He surrenders entirely. The, the Islaman would be he surrenders entirely. So he's a surrenderer. So actually these are sentences in Arabic. Jahada yujahidu jihadan wa mujahadatan fahuwa mujahidun. He struggled. He struggles. He struggles a great deal. Quite a bit. Jihadan wa mujahadatan. So he is a struggler. Fahuwa mujahidun. Each one of these are actually coherent sentences. So I'm not just making you memorize a rant. I'm actually making you say something that makes Arabic sense, actually. And so, It is being learned. Or it was learned. It's being learned quite a bit. So, it's something that's being learned. <laughs> so, it's actually, a, it's, these are, these are uh, rational statements, actually. And the command you make from that would be learn. And the forbidding verb would be don't learn. And the time and place for it would be a muta'allam. The time of learning and the place of learning would be a muta'allam. Can I explain the logic behind a word being light or lightest? Yeah, when we go back to that, Rabia. Not yet. Right now, focus on sarf. Can you please go over the command formula? Yeah, sure. The command formula, even though I've been I've been avoiding going into detail in that because you have too much on your plate right now. So even within sarf, the families you've learned, there's there's depth in aslama, there's depth in yuslimu, there's depth in islam. And I didn't go deep. I just want you to familiarize yourself with the larger view. So think of it this way. When when I made you do aslama, yuslimu, islaman, right? For each one of these is a lesson. This is a lesson. This is a lesson. This is a lesson. This is a sarf lesson that I haven't taught yet. Right, I've I've kind of taught you the the the, the basic word, the, the 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 title of each lesson, but not the lesson itself. So just the same way, al amru minhu aslim, the command you're asking about is a lesson, and we have to actually engage in a one hour, two hour lesson on aslim, and then on la tuslim, and then varf, muslimun, and see how that applies in Quran. So it's coming, but I'm not zooming in on them yet. I'm just kind of I just want you to know the 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 the, the titles. For the families, and the titles are so far: Aslama Yuslimu Islaman, Allama Yuallimu Taaliman, Jahada Yujahidu Jihadam, and Mujahadatan, Taallama Yataallamu Taalluman, Tasaala Tasaalu Tasaulan. Those are the five families so far. Tomorrow, inshallah, we'll finish up. We'll do our last three families for this unit, um, and then the plan is: so the the plan is by the time you come back to me uh, next Friday, you are supposed to know all your eight families like the back of your hand, like you're supposed to know them really, really well. And then you're supposed to know the fun you need to go over the fundamentals again. The fundamental of sarf again, meaning your pronoun meanings, your huwa yansuru chart, your, your huwa nasara chart, and how to apply that, those three, to these families. That is knowledge you need to come to me already with when we start the next uh, uh, intensive. So, and that's not new stuff, that's just you reviewing and you practicing, and you'll be on top of it. Okay? So, yeah. No, uh, you're not better than me. That's yeah, not, yeah. Okay. Jawad, go ahead. You can take five minutes of questions, inshallah. All right. So you don't got the skills like me. I don't even have to stand up. I don't have to bobble my head. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, oh. I've lost it. You lost your mind. Yeah. I have. Lexi, I'll do it on Go ahead, Jawad. Too. Mute me and go ahead take a question. <clears throat> All right, Bismillah. Okay, for those of you saying that you can't find the document, let me show you where it is. Okay. Okay, if you go to study materials, 
all the way at the end. Uh, day six. You'll see this file. Solve families PDF. And this is where all of the families we've learned so far are. Alama, Jahada, Aslama, Ta'alama, and Tasa'ala. And as we learn the next three families, uh, they will, uh, this document will be updated uh, as well. So inshallah right now it only has five. Uh, and then when we go over the next three, uh, I'll add these in. Refresh your page if you're only getting three. Oh, okay. Um, your browser might have... The reason you're getting three is because your browser saved the cookies. So you have to clear your cookies, clear the cache for the website if you know how to do that. If not, just open it in a incognito browser and you should be fine. Open it in an incognito browser or a private browser, whatever, uh, depending on the browser you're using, and and that way, <clears throat> that way you should be able to get all five. Why is the second to last letter? of the Amr of family four and five not Maksul. Well, for family four, it is. Aslim. For family four, we do have Kasra. For family five and six, we don't. Ta'allam and Tasa'al. For these, we don't. Because remember, the, the Fi'al Amr the command and the forbid, the forbidding form, they come from the present tense. So if the present tense had a kasra, then so would the command and the forbidding. But because the present tense doesn't, neither do the command and the forbidding. So if you look at these three, the first three, yu'allimu becomes allim. Yujahidu becomes jahid. Yuslimu becomes aslim. Yata'allamu becomes ta'allam. And yatasa'alu becomes tasa'al. So it depends on the present tense whether it's going to be kasra or whether it's going to be fatha. Jiverdia, what do you want me to explain about it? No, I won't explain why Jahada has two mustars because that's just going to confuse you all. The mustar for taqabbala, Rabi'a would be taqabbulan. Taqabbala, yataqabbalu, taqabbulan. I have not added Fahua. Is one of the families missing Fahua? I oh, know that's all there. Can I read out Tasa'ala? Okay. Tasa'ala yatasa'alu tasa'ulan fahuwa mutasa'ilun tusu'ila yutasa'alu tasa'ulan fahuwa mutasa'alun الأمر منه تساءل والنهي عنه لا تتساءل والظرف منه متساءل
In English, muntasir, I don't think there's a word for time and place of something. In Arabic, it's called dhar, but in English, that there's no really that concept isn't isn't something that exists. Why the present active is yata'allamu, not yata'allimu, because that's what the Arabs decided. They said that for family, for this family, it's going to be yata'allamu. Javeria, what exactly do you want me to explain about it, though? Like, do you want me to go through and conjugate all the verbs? Do you want me to go through the meaning? Do you want me to read it? The sa'al is hard to say. Um, I'm sorry, it's hard to say. Um, just try to make sure that whenever you read your hamza, you're not making it an ayn. And don't try to go too quick. Just make sure you're taking your time, pronouncing everything properly. Don't say tasa'al. Say tasa'al. So for root letters, you can you can plug root letters into different families, but every root letter will not go in every family. Technically, you could put every root letter in every family, but in terms of use, it's not you won't see every root word used in every family. Why does the Masdar for Allama lose the Shadda? Because that's what they decided. A lot of the answers to these questions on why a word is a certain way is just going to be because that's how it is. Why is Aisha partly flexible? It's because it's a it's a uniquely feminine name. That's why. Mahriya, because the surf workbook is already uploaded. So we don't need to upload it again. Can I go through family five using ta'awana? Um, family ta'awana. Ain wa noon isn't really used in that one. But I go through family six. Ta'awana, yata'awanu, ta'awuna. Don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Because we got the Maldi Mabdi al-Majhul. That's what they're doing. They're, they're trying to rope you into oh. the Uvina. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, don't do it. Mm. No, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Is this my first rodeo? <laughs> this is, this is like, they're not really asking you the question they want to ask you. They want you to run into it and say, then, so that's my question, what about that? But, you, but if you ask that to begin with, you wouldn't answer it, you see? They're smart. So they said, just can you do it with that family? Yeah, it's been, it's been done before. Yeah, okay. No, do we have we a quiz for them today? Do you want? I was hoping you said no. I was hoping you'd say no. Why? Because I want to do something else. Uh, I'm not going to give you more self today. There's only so much self a person should do okay. in a day. Yeah. And after that, they start having allergic reactions. Yeah. And it's, not, it's not good for them. I so, show so I'm going to show you something. Um, Surat al-Munafiqun. It's, uh, it's right there. <laughs> yes, it you. is. Uh, we'll just do oh, first time. Okay. Oh, oh, Allah oh. Akbar. oh wait, no, I cannot say that. Either Jaa Akal Munafiquna, Kalu, Yes. Uh, I'm gonna share some things about this ayah with you. This is not an official part of the curriculum, okay. so you're not tested on this. We're not gonna do exercises about this. 
Um, this is just me talking to you about things that you have learned and some things you have not learned. If they stick in your head, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah. If they don't stick in your head, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun, it's okay. 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 But little by little, you'll start getting more and more accustomed to what I'm saying. Ja'a is a past tense. Okay. Ja'a is a past, past tense. tense. It's a complicated past tense because past tenses normally should sound like a a a nasara, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But ja'a mm -hmm. seems to be missing a next syllable. It's got yeah. only two syllables. Ja'a. Yeah. Now what that does is it makes this fi'il complicated. Yeah. Why is it complicated? Because you can't do huwa nasara huma nasara hum nasaruhi ya nasara tuma nasarata hunna nasarna. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happens when you get to nasarna is things get difficult because nasarna means you got to add a sukun mm -hmm. and then add a na. na yeah. But you can't do ja na. Ja na. Yeah. The, you can't do it. So they come up with a weird way of going forward. Mm -hmm. So they say huwa ja'a huma ja'a hum ja'u hiya ja'at huma ja'ata hunna ji'na. So they kill the jim. Uh -huh. And they replace it with a kasra. All oh, there's a process behind that that you don't know yet, but that becomes hunna, jitna, and then from there on it's the same anta jita, antuma jituma, antum jitum, etc. Uh -huh. Anyway, but this is the hua version, ja'a, which means he came. Ja'a uh -huh. means he came. he came. Like nasara means the a ending means he helped. Yeah. So ja'a, the a ending means he came. He came. Does, that, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now there's something new. Uh, the new thing is the word idha. Mm, yeah. The word idha in the Quran. 99% of the time comes with a past tense after it. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. What is what comes after it? A past tense. Past tense. But sometimes there's also a present tense after it. 1% mm -hmm. of the time. Okay. But 99% past tense. past tense. Here's the crazy thing about idha. Idha in Arabic means when. When. Mm -hmm. Now there's lots of words in Arabic for when, but this yeah. is one of them. Okay. Okay? So hina means means when, idha means when, if means when. Lama means when. There's lots of words that mean when. Okay, but this is one of them. But this word is special. Let me tell you what makes it special. What usually comes after it? Past tense or present tense? What did I say? Uh, past tense. Good. What comes after it is? Past, past tense. tense. But when that past tense is getting an idha before it, mm -hmm. then this meaning is no longer past tense to the Arabs. It actually means present tense to them. Okay. Even though they're going to use the past tense version, mm -hmm. the meaning is actually going to get translated in the present tense. Okay. So it's not when he came. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would be wrong. Mm -hmm. When he comes. Mm -hmm. When he comes. comes. And I know that I have to translate. That's crazy, right? Because you memorized that ja'a is the past tense. Yeah. yeah, it's still the past tense, but its meaning has been converted because of what word? Ida. Murtad, how do I say when he came? That's a different when. Yeah. This when is used for present tense and future. Oh, so this would be like the same case in Ida Ja Anasrullah. Ida Ja Anasrullah wal Fat. Which is a deep study. When you do listen to my podcast on Ida Ja Anasrullah wal Fat, there's a whole discussion on Ida and what happened with Ida and Tafsir. Mm -hmm. So, and this is not the same as Ith or Idan. Those are different. Yeah. I'm, to, I'm specifically talking about Ida. So when you see idha and you see a past tense after that, that doesn't mean that the past tense is meaning past tense. It actually means it means present tense or future tense. Yeah. So when he comes, mm -hmm. when he comes. Okay. Yes. The ka is an attached pronoun. Oh, yes. The ka comes from anta. Yeah, I mean you. You. And the, the thing with the ka is you're supposed to ignore it mm -hmm. and then just look at ja'a when he comes. Yeah. And then you can look at the, the you. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't make sense to say when he comes you. So the sensible thing to say is when he comes to you. To you. Mm -hmm. When he comes to, to you. you. Okay. Now, ja'a is the he version, right? Mm -hmm. And the he version can have an outside doer. Yeah. To be an outside doer, you have to be after and you have to be rafa. Yes. You have to be after and you have to be rafa. rafa. Al munafiquna is after and it's rafa. Yeah. Because that una. una is una ina ina. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes it the outside doer. Mm -hmm. Al-Munafiqula means hypocrites. So the word he has been fired because mm -hmm. he was the inside yeah. doer, but Al-Munafiqula is the outside, outside doer. doer yeah. So when the hypocrites come to you. Mm -hmm. Now you don't say comes to you. You say when the hypocrites come to you. Come to you. So now we know how we got the translation. Mm -hmm. When the hypocrites come to, to you. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now usually... 
when you say when, like mm -hmm. when I come to class, mm, yes, you should sit down. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. When Mariam gets here, we'll eat cake. Yeah. So there's a when part. Mm -hmm. When Mariam gets here. Yeah. But when you just say when Mariam gets here, mm -hmm. everybody's like, then what's going to happen? Then we'll eat cake. Okay. So there's a when part and there's a then part. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. When it's 1130, we'll go home. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. When it's Juma time, we go to pray. So there's a when, and then what do we do when that happens? Yeah. So we did the when part. Mm -hmm. When the hypocrites come to you, yeah. But that's not a complete idea, is it? No. Like when the hypocrites come to you, what? Yeah. So then we're gonna look at the next part. Qalu. 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 Mm -hmm. Now huwa qala. He said. Mm -hmm. Huma qala. Both of them mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. Hum qalu. Mm -hmm. They said. Mm -hmm. Humqalu would mean they said. they said. So when the hypocrites come to you, they said. But the problem is, they said is in the past tense. Yeah. But ida has an effect not only on the first part, the when part, mm -hmm. but also on the then part. Oh, okay. the, the what? You said they said. I didn't say they said. I said they said. What are you, what are you talking about? So. The what was I saying? I forgot now what I was saying. Uh, because of this false accusation. Uh, <laughs> there's there's fraud, I tell you. There's fraud. It's not it's not a, this, something's wrong. Yeah, uh, uh, you didn't count the letters properly. Yeah, you're uh, so, talking about I need to have somebody monitor Mariam so we can make yeah. sure she counts the letters properly. Okay, I'm, I'm kidding. Okay, so <laughs> that means when yeah. now when they come, mm -hmm. I translated it in the present tense for what reason? Because of Ida. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have translated it when they came. Yeah. Right? But because the when part is present tense, the then this is the then part. Mm -hmm. That also has to be present tense. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to say they said. We'll say what? They right. say. Even though the, the literal verb, the fi'il, is past tense, mm -hmm. because it's in this statement, because of with the Ida, it will be translated they say. Right. Okay. Now, what they say in English, when somebody says something, we put it in quotes. Right? He said, quote, I am something, something. Yeah. Right? And then end quote. So we're going to put quotes here. Mm -hmm. Okay? They say. Now, what do they say? Nashhadu. 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 Nash is noon beginning. Noon uh, if yashhadu means he testifies, he bears witness. We. We. Uh, we bear witness. Yeah, I like it. Uh, bear. Yeah. Okay. Let me put an emoji here. We Teddy witness. We testify. Easier? Are you happier now? Yeah. Okay. I like bears. <laughs> okay. So we testify. Mm -hmm. Ustad. Hmm. Uh, how come the doer of Jaa is plural when Jaa is singular? Go back and study the, the outside doer. The outside doer can be whatever number. The inside doer, the replacer, the replacement is hua. Mm -hmm. But we didn't say that the outside doer has to be singular. The outside doer can be singular, pair, or plural. Mm -hmm. So long as the fi'il was the hua version, yeah. its replacement can be any number. The only condition on it, it has to be rafa. Yeah. And that's a good thing, actually. So you don't have to convert this guy to match with this guy. Yeah. It's less work for you. So we testify. Nashhadu. Mm -hmm. Inna is something you learned. Yeah. Inna makes the next word. Jar. Really? Inna makes oh, the next word. Jar. Wow, oh, both of you messed up at the same time. Royal. <laughs> well, we, makes it yeah. Family unity. Okay, we testify yeah. mm -hmm. that certainly, I am adding that because it's a necessity in English. Certainly you are. You because are. when you have in the word ka is anta. Mm -hmm. Right, and when you have inna and it's victim, you usually put r after it or yeah. is after it. Mm -hmm. It was a is shortcut. Yeah. So we testify that certainly you uh, are. Okay. Then you have la rasulullahi. La is not a harf of jar here. If it was a harf of jar, it would have been li. Li. Oh yeah. Also, even if you forgot that, you would still know it's not a harf of jar mm -hmm. because if it was a harf of jar, this would have been li. li. It wouldn't have been rafa. This is a lamb of emphasis. It's called the lamb of emphasis. emphasis. What does the lamb of emphasis do? It does nothing to the grammar. Okay. It, do, it doesn't, it keeps a nasab nasab, it keeps a rafa rafa, mm -hmm. it keeps a jar jar, it does nothing. It's just there to, I just wanted to stress 
put some stress on you, but mm -hmm. I, otherwise I, I got nothing to do. Okay. Yeah. So la here. Mm -hmm. Now some scholars say la here means truly. Mm -hmm. Other scholars say that lam is actually every time you see a la like this, mm -hmm. it actually means I swear. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's as if they're saying, and by the way, Rasulullah is the messenger of Allah. So they'll say, one way to translate this is, certainly you truly are the messenger of Allah. So I added truly from what word? Allah. The la. La, yeah. The mm -hmm. emphasis. Mm -hmm. So I emphasize with the word truly. But it can also be, you are the messenger of Allah. We swear by it. Mm. Now, where's the we swear by it? La. The la. Mm. That stressor is just, it's called lam al qasam. Yeah. Imam al Shawkani calls it lam al qasam to swear by it. Mm. So it's, I added the whole we swear by it just coming from where? The la. Mm -hmm. So when the hypocrites come to you, yeah. they testify or they say, We testify that certainly you are the messenger of Allah. We swear by it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wallahu. And Allah. The wow is not a harf of jar. Because if wow was a bata kaf lam wow. If it was the harf of jar, we wouldn't say wallahu. We would say what? Wallahi. Mm, harf of jar. Wallah. Thank you. This wow, when it doesn't jarify, it, it nothingifies. Yeah. That means it's and. So I said uh -huh. and Allah. One thing out of that passage, I knew I'm so proud of that last night. I was like, Padar, that's wow, and that means and. I was like, mind blown, baby. <laughs> You're going to go back and, back and blow his mind some more today yeah. when you go back, okay? Mm -hmm. And Allah, now look, this is going to take some brain juice from you. Ya'lamu, ya'lamu, is ya this... No, 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 that's not yu'allimu. Oh. It's not yu'allimu because yeah. it would have started with you. Oh, yeah. It would have had a shadda. Mm -hmm. It's the same material, ayn la meem. It's the same root letters, but not the same shape. Oh, yeah. It's not the same family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, ya'lamu is, is it who knows? Mm, yes. Is it he knows, she knows, I know, they know, which mm -hmm. who knows in the word ya'lamu? Where'd you get he from, Marim? You're right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. When you have he, is it possible to look for an outside doer? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, except, except there is no outside doer. It's a new sentence after this. Inna ka la rasuluhu is a new sentence. Oh, okay. So there's no outside doer. Mm -hmm. But the word Allah is rafa. Yeah. But it's not after. It's where? Before. 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 People that don't know enough Arabic. Let me just zoom in on this. Yes. People that don't know enough Arabic grammar say the word Allah is the fa'il, is the doer. Mm -hmm. Stuff no, the word Allah is not the doer Because if the word Allah was the doer It would be where? After, after. Yeah. Because the condition for the file, The condition for the outside doer mm -hmm. Is it has to be rafa And it has to be after, after. Mm -hmm. The word Allah is where? Before, Before. Now, but it, it's So a lot of translators do this And Allah knows mm -hmm. They say what? Allah, Allah knows. knows So when they translate it like that They're saying that the, uh, Let me show the screen again when they translate it like that, then they're saying that the word Allah is the outside doer because they replaced he knows with Allah. Uh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But I'm saying it's not the outside doer because if it was the outside doer, where would it be? The after. It would be after. So this is something I'll teach you a little bit later on, but I'll tell you one thing for sure. It does not replace the inside doer. Mm -hmm. So, Allah. so uh, the word Allah stays mm -hmm. and the word he also stays. Oh. So it's li the most literal transition would be Allah. And Allah, He knows. Mm. Yes. And Allah, he knows. he knows. So Allah, the word Allah stays and He knows stays. Yeah. Now what's more, what sounds more intense? Allah knows or Allah, He knows? Allah, He knows. Yeah, Allah. this is a more intense way of speaking. Mm -hmm. And you lost the intensity if you just said Allah knows. Right? Mm -hmm. There's other ways of translating this, but for now this one's okay. Allah, He knows. He knows. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then, innaka. We just did innaka right here innaka. above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is innaka? Innaka, it's, uh, it's uh, nasbar. Yeah, so that's certainly. What does ka mean? Ka you. You and you are. You are. You are. The. 
You are, and then Rasuluhu, mudaf mudaf Oh yeah. Oh, light no al. Light no al, followed by attached pronoun. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. makes it, and a pronoun attached to an ism is always mudaf mudaf. This Islam cannot be a half of jar. Mm -hmm. If it was a half of jar, it would have been li. Yeah. Also, it would have been rasu. It would not have been rasulu. It would be rasu li. Mm -hmm. So that's not the case. Yeah. So inna ka la rasuluhu means mm -hmm. certainly you are his messenger. Mm -hmm. And then you can even add, he swears by it. Where am I getting he swears by it? Uh, the la. The la. Mm -hmm. You are truly mm -hmm. his messenger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are his messenger. He swears by it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So l read this in English now. Mariam, read this in English from the beginning. When the hypocrites come to you, they say, We testify that certainly you are the messenger of Allah. We, spe we swear by it. And Allah, he knows that certainly you are his messenger. He swears by it. Now I'm going to translate it. But with the emotions that it carries. Oh, okay. When the hypocrites come to you, they say, We testify that certainly you are the messenger of Allah. We swear by it. And Allah... He knows that certainly you are his messenger. He swears by it. You're going to tell Allah something he already knows? No. You're telling the messenger something? Oh, he already knows. Thank you very much. Yeah. He already swears by it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need your validation. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks, but Allah already knows. And then let's end it. Wallahu. And I'll even translate roughly. And in fact, Allah... Mm -hmm. And in fact, Allah, yashhadu. We did nashhadu, we testify. Yeah. Now what is it? Yashhadu, he. Who, mm, and in fact, Allah, he testifies that, mm -hmm. testifies that, innal mm -hmm. munafiqina. Mm -hmm. Inna means certainly, we've done that a few times now, yes. for sure. Yes. Inna means for sure. For. Okay. Al Munafiqina Ina ending could be Nasab or Jar. Uh -huh. Which one is it? Is it Nasab or Jar? Which uh, one is it here? Nasab. Nasab. Because of Inna. Wonderful, Mary. I'm so proud. Certainly, that's that for sure. And you, thank you. <laughs> you you burned it. Me dark the, man, he I saw that dark look on the screen, like mm, proud of her. <laughs> Why are you proud of her? <laughs> oh, like, oh, oh, I, I saw those come out of you. Whew. I got chills. I like a hot idea. <laughs> I shall crush you. La <laughs> kadibuna. Kadib means liar. What does kadibuna mean? Una makes it plural. Uh -huh. So, uh, liars. Liars. Is lam a harf of jar? No, no. How do you know? Prove it to me two ways. Uh, because uh, lam, if, if it was half of jar, it would have been li. Yeah. And then um, if it was a half of jar, okay. una is what status? Uh, una is nasab. Nas really, una is nasab. No, una is um. Una is rafa. What kind of rafa? Uh, rafa. What kind oh, of rafa? Oh, plural. Thank plural. you. Oh, wait, and so if it was nasab. Mm -hmm. It would yeah. be Ina. Thank you. Wait, so could this be plural by meaning and no combination? No, no, no. It's a com of course, oh, yeah, it's a Muslim Muslimuna. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. You It's getting late. It's been more than two hours. Is that why? It's okay. <laughs> For sure, the hypocrites are liars. liars. And then he adds, mm -hmm. I swear by it. Pretty intense. Yeah. When I uh... when the hypocrites come to you, they say, We testify that certainly you are the messenger of Allah. We swear by it. And Allah, He knows that certainly you are His messenger. He swears by it. And in fact, Allah, He testifies that for sure the hypocrites are liars. Mm. And I, I would even take the for sure away that no doubt. Allah testifies, no doubt about it. The hypocrites are liars. Yeah. And you can just add here, instead of I swear by it, you can say he swears by it. Yeah. He swears by it. Mm. Man. 
But alhamdulillah, we knew pretty much all of the grammar. We knew, yeah, we knew like uh, I'd say eighty percent. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's more so. Than this now, what's the story? Why is Allah saying that? When did they come to the Prophet and say that? Why did Allah get so angry when they said that? Because they didn't say something bad. Yeah. They came and said, "What? What's the quote? We testify that you are the messenger of Allah. We swear by it. Isn't that the truth? Isn't he the messenger of Allah?" Mm -hmm. Then Allah says, "Oh, I already know. Yeah. I swear by it already, yeah. and I already know that you're lying." Mm. But they're not lying. What is what is they're lying? They're testifying. When you testify, mm -hmm. that means that's what I believe. Yeah, that's you're lying. That's not what you believe. Yeah, your mouth is saying something. Your heart is not there. I know you're lying, mm. and I swear by how much of a liar you are. And by the way, these people, mm -hmm. you could not see what's inside their heart, right? Yeah. yeah. So they said this to the prophet. Mm -hmm. And they gave this whole speech. Of course you're Allah's messenger. Wallahi. Why would you not? You're Allah's messenger. We believe that. We're like everybody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as they leave, Quran comes down and yeah. says they are lying. And everybody's reciting this surah and they're mm -hmm. listening to this surah, yeah. slamming them. Mm -hmm. And they're like... Because <laughs> they, they're the only ones who came and they swore to the Prophet. He's Allah's messenger. If you're already a Muslim, you don't have to come and tell the Prophet. Like, By the way, I just want to make sure you know that I believe you're Allah's messenger. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if if you had to go out of your way, Ahmed, and say, "Hey, Saad, I just really want you to know that you're you're, you're, you're a teacher. I just I, like, I'm, I'm your student. I just want you to know that you're a teacher. You're you're, you're okay. Yeah. And you have to say that over and over again. Yeah. I swear, I believe you're a good teacher. I really swear, I believe. Yeah. You know what I start thinking? Mm -hmm. You're not. Mm, I don't think you think I'm a good teacher. <laughs> or if he comes to you and says, "Hey, I swear." Those Takis, I didn't take them. I swear I didn't take those Takis <laughs> that were in your second drawer, you, you know, be, behind the sweaters that you wrapped up in socks. Those are, I didn't take them. I swear I didn't take them. Yeah. If he keeps swearing over and over, what are you going to start thinking? He's lying. I mean, I already know he's oh, lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't go whoa, there. Whoa, whoa. I wasn't going there. But I'm saying when you swear like that, yeah. then you're kind of giving yourself away because you're trying to overcompensate for yeah. your your the dirt you have inside yeah right so mm -hmm. anyway so now we can start touching on a little bit of quran yeah and like i said if you understand it alhamdulillah if you don't understand it inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun because the questions i will accept will only be questions about what this sarf sarf, yeah. sarf. And this anything is just that we extracurricular activity so that you get a head start on your sutul munafiqoon and you yes. you have something to think about, inshallah. Yeah. Okay, uh, but give me five families tomorrow. Okay. Give, I was not happy with Jahada today. Okay. I will be much happier. I didn't test your Yansuru today. I will test your Yansuru tomorrow also. Okay. I'll give you a couple of days to get your pronouns in order because that's okay. too much work then. Yeah. So by um, you guys have your break from uh, Monday onwards, right? So yeah. tomorrow is your last day of this mm -hmm. intensive. So we're going to yeah. finish three more families tomorrow, inshallah. Yeah. Um, but when we finish these intensives, uh, you guys are going to make sure the same things I'm telling Mariam to work on is, is what you're all going to work on. And you too, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Flashcards, pronouns, past tense, present mm -hmm. tense, and then yeah. the, the eight families that we're going to be done with oh. by tomorrow. Absolutely solid before I see you on Friday. Okay, absolutely solid. Yeah. And some of you are, mashallah, you come from really uh, like oppressive regimes. Yeah. <laughs> or I, I guess the, the, you can call them traditional schools, but <laughs> oppressive regimes. You're like, what's that? I didn't watch the last video completely. Can I attend class today? And I read that and I say, oh, I want to troll you so badly right now. I just want to say, no, you shall never attend my class. You missed 30 minutes of my recording. Now go in the corner and cry and think about what you have done. <laughs> You must slaughter three goats before you make up for this <laughs> blasphemy. <laughs> Chill out, dude. I don't have a sortie. I don't have a stick I'm going to beat you up with. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make a murga out of you. <laughs> like, make you hold your ears and stuff. Just relax, okay? Because can, can you guys just chill out? Stop stressing yourselves out. Yeah. And I just really want you to be proud of me. Okay, I'm proud of you if you're doing your work. If even if you're struggling, I'll see you guys soon. Inshallah, thank you, Jawad. Also, Salam alaikum, Jawad. Mustad Jawad. Mustad Jawad. I'm so sorry. I'm stuck for the lawful name. I'm sorry. Three goats now because I said something wrong.